Hi everyone, it's Daisy. We'll be working on a family of reindeers for this project in pencil colors. We will draw and color simultaneously and finish the project off with some highlights and lowlights. Stay with us and go through this video step by step and complete the project. Bye now. Hi everyone, it's Daisy. I have got a project here for my basic drawing one. It's a family of reindeers and that just walked out onto the road and everyone kind of just had to stop and just amaze at the beauty of them. So let's look at this. I'm working on a black paper and I'm going to be drawing with a white colored pencil so that um, the drawing shows up. So the easy way to approach this thing is um, by breaking down the uh, anatomy of our reindeer first off. So right in the middle, mommy reindeer. So I'm going to start with her neck, not even the face. This is my neck and it closes into a curve just like here. Um, the body goes back and we can see the front of her legs. So the lower part of her anatomy is right here and this is what we see now. Next comes her legs and you can put in one, two, one, two, till the knees, at which point you should be kind of expanding it just enough and then it goes into the rest of it. A little bit of an expand for the knee, remember? right there now comes her face so we have the bottom of our nose area so we're going to put the nose in here we're making a circle i do know that but we'll chisel it away and then the main face right there from the other side this is the center of the forehead for the reindeers so you're going to close it. Now you're going to apply the eye from the top and the bottom. And same on the other side. So you have to give the eye that's on the other side. You can't see it completely, but you still have to draw it in whatever you can see. And you're going to take the top of the eye and there's, there's always like a bone structure right there curving back inward and now over here on top here before we close the head off we have to start the antlers so going out it's almost like a letter Y then there's another look at how I'm curving the bottom of it not a straight line very important. You need to do something similar as you were working on this project with me. Make sure that you can see the way to break down the different antlers for our reindeers. The, between this gap is where the ears will fit in. So let's just patiently work on the antlers first because there's a lot to do here. Uh, next antler that kind of works. So I don't try and draw all of them um just as one big chunk like if i'm starting from there i'll make this and i'll make that i try and put in what i see there this gives me my left antlers my right ones are a little because I'm not looking at a perfect front portrait. Two. Three. We close the ears, attach to the base. Now comes the ears. So the ears are right over here. You would angle them 
upward like so bend the inside a little bit and let it attach to the head right there the bottom of the ear is in line with the eye almost so you've kind of come away a little bit and it's like a curve pricks it up next go to the other side same exact level so you want to make that diagonal line so you remember that it needs to be diagonal push this in there and then we're going to have the connection from the bottom of the antennas to the ear and the ears to the face so you have the outside of the eye, the ear is connected. Now from the bottom of the eye, you're going to take one more line of flesh right there. And the neck will kind of creep up to get closer to that. So this becomes your mommy reindeer. Now, how do you kind of figure in the coloring part of it? Well. The reindeer's nose itself is like a letter U on the inside, right there. And the mouth line is kind of over here. And we can bring in the nose. And we can color the area that does not need to be left black. So basically when you're working on a black piece of paper, you want to use the black of the paper as to your strength and not feel like it's hard to work on it. You want to be able to kind of really use the, um, the blackness of the paper to help you not have to work so hard on creating the darkness. That's why you'll be working off of this. Now I'm going to bring in different colors. see what I did over there so this particular little design that I made needs to be a little bit more darker in hue And you can go over your white lines at this point. You don't need to hold them. If that area needs brown, that's all you need to do. And you want to put a little white spot in the mom's eye, right there. And you can, if you feel like it's too much, you can take a little black and you can reduce it enough to where it shows up the way that you want it to. You want a little bit of peach, so the inside of the ear right here has got a little bit of a bony flesh, like a little crescent moon shape. And after that, you can have a little peach that kind of spills into the rest of the area. I'm reducing the pressure of my hand when I'm coloring in these antlers because they seem to be not so bright. They're a little bit more subdued. So I want to let the black of the paper kind of kick in again here. 
So a certain part of the reindeer's antlers will be brighter and the other will not. Now I want to increase the size of my nose. I feel like I let it go down more than I wanted to. So I can bring in my black at this point and I can increase that size of the nose right there. Feels a lot better to me now. I want to add a little grays right here on the right side of mom's neck, right over there. And I want to add the grays into the base of the neck want to again do something similar over here over the bone structure and we can have a little bit of the brown that's showing can show it here and now coming back into my whiter pencil white I want the white to come in I want the brightness here on the nape of the neck right over here I want this to be a little bit more brilliant and whiter you have to play with the tones even in white it's not just everything being stark white you're going to play with the lights and the darks a lot and I just saw something that I wanted to fix and I'm just going to go back in the mouth I don't want it to be so prominent so I'm going to reduce on that With colored pencils, it's so easy to kind of go over stuff that you want to change around, you don't like the intensity, you, you want to uh, get things looking different, you can do so much. On the knees, leave a little bit of black. Don't get rid of all of it. So this was a uh, mommy reindeer, or rather daddy reindeer, I should say, because the male has the antlers, not the female. And let's put the female right next to him. Here we go. So again, come back into your white pencil, please. And we are going to plant mommy right next to daddy over here. So the part which touches the body of the father is about this point. So I want to go ahead and address the fact that this is where mom's um, chest area is going to be. And she's going to be way more slimmer than dad was. And I'm going to stop the neck about here, not go any much, any higher than that. And at this point, again, I'll create myself the area for her nose right there. And I'm going to extend up the nose area where her head ideally would go. And her head finishes, the top of her head is lower than dad's eye. So I kind of gauge up my reference pictures based on And then between 
in. I want this to go a little bit higher so I can, if I've drawn lightly, I can erase off some of my colored pencils. So right here is a bone structure that I cannot ignore for the female right there. And then over here. knees. Mom's knees will go down a little bit lower than dad's knees. A little extra room for the leg and now the reason that I like the color pencil part here so much is because I can really play with whatever I do or don't want to keep. So let's start with the ears, the crescent at the base. And at the bottom. Top of the head, cover the line that I drew darker. If you get a reference picture that you like and you want to work with it, keep your eye on shades and values that look more dominant to you than the others because that is a good way to kind of wrap your head around what's in front of you. It's not always written in black and white that, okay, this color here, that color there. A lot of this has to do with the um, way that you understand the subject. It's just, and it's not as simple as, um, or more complicated than that, really. So I'm chiseling away the nose for the mom with all of this. Now, if you look at the face of mom, I don't want so much of the flesh, so I can take my black 
and I can chisel it away to making it a little bit more to my taste. So I'm okay with that. And this part will be right here, chiseling out again. So that I get to where I want to be. Again, chiseling into whatever I do or don't want to keep for a mom. And this is how much I would like to stop it at. I would like to bring in a little bit of the blue into dad's body and then also to mom's body. And that brings in the second deer and we'll keep moving forward I want to put in a few of the shadows from the bone structure so I'm going to use my black in a featherweight kind of a capacity and I'm going to bring in chiseling away from the legs don't need the legs to be so much Very gently adding in details and contours where I need them. I put in the white and if the white feels a little bit much I will make sure that I go back in with my black which is really really sharp and very fine for me to get as much or as little as I want to now remember on the tip of the reindeer's nose you can see a little bit of brightness also so you want to give a slight amount of white over there Last, uh, we have two baby reindeers that crept out and oh forgot to put the white into this one so you have all of that I want to add a little bit more brightness into the ears right there and you can have 
a baby coming out and let's just so for the baby I'm going to add it right about here whereby I can see a little bit of its body its head is lower than mom's and it comes it starts about here so I'm going to put in I'm going to now start creeping in body parts so this is the head and I want the neck for the baby to be about at the bottom of dad's neck so I'm going to go here and I'm going to have this I'm going to put baby's nose area right there going to have the eye And as we've already talked about all the different body areas, as I'm drawing it, I hope this will help you reiterate as to where the placement should be and why I'm putting it there. I want to bring it in closer. Leg. Leg. Right there. And then again, nose, top of baby's eyes, a little brighter. I reduce the pressure to the sides of the neck because that's where the shadows are. The center of the neck for the child is uh, the brightest part.
And there is our picture of three reindeers that popped out in the middle of nowhere. And it's amazing to see nature at its best. If you ever get the chance, do take some pictures and share it with everybody. But um, I can keep going on with this thing because I feel like when I make these videos, I hope I know which where I should stop and where I should. And I just feel like I sometimes fail to stop at the right point or I'm going too much into detail and that's just me. I'm just, there's a lot that matters in the way that I do art. So, yep. And again, I'm at it. And I just want to add a few more things. So I don't want to turn the video off unless I've added it. And you had a chance to kind of keep up with me. I don't want you to feel like, well, she doesn't give everything that she should be doing. I don't want that feeling to creep in. I'd like you to feel like you can. This is a go-to for you to, uh, for if you ever need to understand how to draw something and not sure where to look. Hopefully these videos help you how to break it down and how to create uh, images to the best of your ability. Don't be afraid to use a color sheet of paper and use the color of the paper as to your strength in making the artwork. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.